people spend time together and marry. If a boy loves a girl, that means they 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 love each other. I guess it's like a really deep sensation that you have in your body or soul, whatever you believe in. And uh, be in love for me kind of means that um, like security and also like safe a feeling of safety and uh, and of course happiness when two kids have play dates it's like when they love each other love is like when you run to like be together on forever uh, until you die Love a little, love you, love a lot, and love you, love middle size. Like a lot of different kind of love from different kind of countries. Uh, some people don't like be together like forever, or some people don't like that. The root of it is same for all all types. It's the warmth and the. <laughs> deep feelings and deep connections towards the other person and uh, maybe that there are different ways of expressing it and then we then the people then we can say that it's a different type of love but it is I think like on the basis of it the love has a same same core same base same root like take us for lunch boys do Take them for dates. You play with them. Mary. From a psychological point of view, there are many different styles, different kinds of love. We psychologists give them six different names for the different categories. There is Eros, there is Ludus, there is Storge, there is Mania, Pragma, and Agape. Ah, oh, Eros. Eros is the passionate kind of love. Eros is the kind of love we feel when we fall in romantic love. Ludus, from the word for game, is the playful love where we might be interested in more partners at once. Storge is the love of true friendship. Pragma is a kind of love that is driven by the head, rational love. Mania is obsessive love where we have to have what we desire. And agape is selfless love, love for everyone and everything in the universe. This is the story of Eros, Ludus, and Mania. Mania is about obsession. It's about something we have to have and can be a person or a thing. And in this case, the Mania is about a phone. Obsessive love can cause a person to become addicted to a certain thing or another person ultimately excluding and ignoring reality. Here, the obsession with Mania's phone is degrading the relationship between her and her father. She's living in a phone world rather than reality. She might not realize it, but she can actually lose the people that are important to her. Due to the obsession, she doesn't even seem to care. The story of Ludus is more complicated. Now, it might surprise some of you, but this is how love works for some people. Ludus loves hanging out with girls. He is more interested in the quantity than the quality and gets over breakups more quickly than most of us. The more girls he can be with, the funnest his love life will be. In our society, we might consider them the players. Take Ludus, for example. He recently broke up with his girlfriend but he's already meeting new girls and going out on many dates. Eros is literally the love of beauty. People who experience Eros tend to say they fell in love at first sight. 
The story of Eros is quite simple and cheesy. They were both not paying attention to the road when they bumped into each other. He couldn't help notice that she texted her friend, I will never get a boyfriend. She noticed he saw. They made eye contact and they walked off into the distance. In the end, however, it doesn't really matter what kind of love you have or if you know what kind of love you have. Because everyone ends up finding that unique love, that someone special in their lives, and learns to experience love in their own personal way.